The next in our series of videos on modeling is how to use a table mixer. A table mixer is used in System Viewer Genesis by placing a mixer and opening it up and selecting the alternate model for a table mixer. It's the third one in the list. It's not the default. So you have to choose that. And then you get tabs for a down or up converter. And the table that appears has to be filled in with some numbers that come from the data sheet. Here's the data sheet for this device, and it has IMT tables or intermodulation tables for down and up conversion. All we have to do is just transfer the numbers from this table directly into the mixer model. And so that's what we did. These numbers were just copied directly from that data sheet. These numbers indicate DBC relative to the one by one product which you notice has zero dB in it. One by one is usually the desired product in a mixer. And the RF harmonic is on the vertical here, the LO harmonic across the top horizontally. And these numbers indicate how many dB down from that desired tone are these mixing products. And a table is good for only one power of LO and one level of RF input power. So we have to make sure to stick to that if we're going to get accuracy, and we will be sure to do that. So once that's filled in, then running a simulation will give you the output spectrum here. And uh, we don't have time to do it, but the levels have all been checked against that table, and uh, a number of spot checks all indicated that those were at the right level. Now, that's pretty much it. If you want to add more realism, then one of the things you could do is go back to the data sheet and take a look at all of these other performance graphs that the vendor has supplied and decide whether you want to use any. For example, take this conversion loss versus frequency graph. If we snipped this image out, saved it in a file, and then uploaded it to our favorite digitizing tool, Web Plot Digitizer. Then we could load the image there, specify the extents of the X and Y axes, the color of the trace, the increment that we want down here. When we press the Run button, these red data points are placed along the curve at our increment. And the View Data button shows us that data in CSV format. All we have to do is save it in a file, and we're done. In System View or Genesis, the user opens the mixer, goes to the Frequency tab, which a number of parts have. That's where you specify parameters versus frequency. And then using the Import Sys Parameters button, just browse to the CSV file you just saved. The header line had to be added manually after saving the data. The CSV file will contain only this numeric data. But the first line is the header line, and that is added manually in Excel. And then the, the, the file can be saved. And once it is opened, it simply populates the columns with data. And now we have conversion gain versus frequency. We could also have added columns for all of these parameters as well. Once we have this, running a simulation gives us a conversion loss curve or conversion gain curve that is much more realistic, that contains variation versus frequency. And so that's an example of using a table mixer model to model a mixer.